You see, we are not an afterthought with God. God's always wanted a family, never subjects, never just, you know, obedient soldiers, so to speak, although we are part of the army of God. Paul, you know, talks about this, be a good soldier in the faith, you know. But foremost, what God's heart is, is, is to have a family, to have loving children that he loves and cares for and that we're responding in love and, and relationship with him. And so our identification with Jesus as a follower then gives us a place in God's family as a son or a daughter, and we're not working for his love and acceptance. There is no performance needed. He gave his love to us freely through Christ and his gift and the reconciliation that we have and that blood that was shared, shed and, and his resurrection life and glory. So we are living out of our identity as sons and daughters. And so that is first, the, one of the first key steps to understanding your authority then as a believer, knowing you're an accepted son and daughter of God, of the Father, and that you have a new family lineage, and that family lineage begins with Jesus. Jesus is perfectly loved, perfectly accepted, the only begotten Son of God, and, and, and so are you and I. As, as John would write, as he is, 1 John 4.17, as he is, so are we in this world, completely loved, completely accepted, completely loved by the Father.